let's talk about how this course will look like for you. Each section has some sort of actionable steps that you are able to follow, such as building websites and sample projects. And everything we use in this course is a tool that companies use in real life. They're the best of the best. So let's look at the course outline. The first part will be an introduction, some basic concepts to get us familiar with the web and how it works. We will start off with how the internet works. What is the history of these technologies? We're gonna talk about the history of the web, the web browsers, and I'll actually have you understand the underlying concepts of the internet and how the technologies we have now have come to be where they are. And then we're gonna learn HTML5, finally building our first website. We'll also get into some advanced HTML where we're gonna build some complex forms and get you really, really good at this technology. We will then move into CSS, which allows us to style our websites and make them beautiful. Afterwards, we'll get into advanced CSS and using CSS3 features like transitions and gradients. In the advanced CSS section, we'll create a background generator project that is going to be a lot of fun. Once we've mastered how to work with websites using HTML and CSS, we'll then start learning about bootstrap templates and building your own startup landing page that accepts emails and will actually store the emails of users as people who are interested in your startup. A very useful skill that you will definitely need in your career or if you have a business idea that you want to pursue. We will also dive into newer features of CSS like Flexbox and my favorite, CSS Grid and get really, really good at doing responsive layouts with CSS. Finally, we finish off part one with career of a developer. What does a career of a developer actually entail? What are the salaries? What are the differences between a software developer, mobile developer, software engineer, full stack developer? We're going to cover all of that. And we're also going to talk about the future trends and what skills do you need in the future. From part one, we move to our next section. In here, we'll start to introduce JavaScript and learn concepts that allow us to learn a real programming language and the most popular programming language, which is JavaScript. We then move to DOM manipulation, where we'll actually use JavaScript to create actions and behaviors to our websites so they're interactive. And then finally, we're going to learn some advanced JavaScript concepts so that we can use JavaScript to control the machines around us. Now, just knowing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is not good enough, and you won't be able to grow in your role and command a higher salary just with those three skills. I'm going to be teaching you these things coming up because these are the things you should know so that you are miles ahead of the rest. So after the JavaScript section, we're going to start getting into the command line and working with the terminal. We then learn about developer environments, and I'll actually show you what my developer environment on my computer looks like when I'm working. We'll be setting up our own computers with all the tools necessary of a real life developer so you can use the same setup when you go and work for somebody or for yourself. We will then learn about Git and GitHub, probably the most important tools of a developer. And I'll show you how teams work with these technologies to create collaborative software. We then get into a fun section, which is a day in the life of a developer. I'll show you what a day to day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., what it looks like and what tools you'll use. I will take you through a sample day at a tech company just so that on your first day at the job, you won't be surprised. We will then jump to NPM and NPM scripts, a way for developers to share their code and it's going to open up a whole world of possibilities. In this section, we are also going to create our own customizable portfolio project. So moving forward, you can add the projects from this course to your website and have it as your online resume. Finally, we finish off part two with React.js. You'll learn the library that companies like Netflix, Facebook, and Instagram use to build fast, scalable applications. This is one of the highest in-demand skills in the industry. It's so much fun, and I'm really, really excited about that section. From part two, we'll move on to the world outside of just the front end. We're gonna learn about HTTP, 
JSON, and AJAX, something that will open up a world of possibilities. We'll learn about the backend basics and what backend developers do. And then finally, I'll introduce you to some APIs, what APIs are, and definitely some really interesting APIs that are out there. This section is really going to open up your world from just being a front-end developer that is really good at building websites to somebody that can create really dynamic applications and it will set us up for part four. This is where it gets really, really fun. We're going to start working on our final project called SmartBrain. And we're going to start off by working on the front end. That is using CSS, JavaScript, HTML, and React. We're going to build an image recognition app. That's going to be really, really fun. You submit a URL and using a machine learning API, we're going to detect to see if in that photo there's a face and then detect where that face is with the square box. We're going to create a sign in form or registration form. And it's going to be really, really impressive. Something that you're going to be able to use in your portfolio and impress future employers or clients. We then take a break from the SmartBrain project to introduce you to Node.js and Express. This is where I show you how to build a server, how to create a RESTful API, so that when we get into the next section, the SmartBrain server section, we build our own server so that we're actually able to communicate with the server over HTTP and sign into our app, sign out, have profiles, and do all sorts of really interesting things. From there, we again take a break and learn about databases, a really complex topic, but I'm going to make it simple for you to understand how they work. And in the next section, we're actually going to create our own database using Postgres and connected to our server so that at the end, you'll have a fully working app that has a front end client website, a back end server, and a server that's working with a database pretty much a full fledged application. And finally, we're going to deploy and launch that application. So you know exactly how to put a real life app that is secure and won't get hacked on the web. And don't worry, I'm going to provide all files for you throughout the sections so that you can just add them to your portfolio or you can work along the videos as well. Depending on what your learning style is, you can follow along whichever way works best for you. And at the end of the course, I'm also going to have a quick little section of some of my favorite resources to get hired, some of my own advice on finding a job of your dreams. By the end of this course, you're going to learn the skills that allow you to apply for jobs in the following roles, web developer, software developer, front end developer, JavaScript developer, or a full stack developer. You're going to learn the technologies that are actually being used behind tech companies. You're going to be able to build your own websites and applications. But most importantly, you're going to master fundamental concepts in web development so that it sets you up for a bright, long career. I also want to make this course interactive. I'll be making videos of student projects and what others have built in this course like you. I'll also have Q&A videos where based on the most popular questions or the most popular topics, I'm going to create new videos as they are suggested. We have a lot to cover, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started.